Hey friends, this is Kathy and it is time for the February thrift haul. And so uh, the last few weeks, and I'm gonna continue doing this um, until I get started decorating for spring, I am looking for two things when I go out thrifting. And um, all of these things came from Goodwill, but no matter where I go, if I go, you know, to a different thrift store or um, if I go to um, the, um, the antique mall, I'm going to be looking for things that I can use in spring decorating, Easter decorating, summer decorating. And so um, I am looking for bunnies. I am looking for lemon decor. I am looking for spring flowers. And so when I go out thrifting, I have something in my head that I'm looking for. I'm not just going and, you know, with, with no purpose in mind. And so that helps to focus me on what particular things I'm looking for. Now, if I find something really fabulous that I love, that serves a purpose in my home, then I will get it. But other than that, I've got some things that I have picked up for spring and summer that I wanna share with you. So I hope you'll stay till the end. And if you don't mind, please subscribe to my channel. It's like 82% of the people watching my videos are not subscribed and I am working my way up to a thousand subscribers. I think as of today, I need to get 101 more subscribers. <laughs> so if you could help me out with that goal, I mean, it does mean that my channel will get monetized, but that's really not the thing. It's just, that's kind of been my goal since I started YouTube is that I'd like to get up to a thousand. Now, I don't know if I'll ever get there. <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever get past that. But if you guys like what you see on my videos, please subscribe to my channel because it really helps me out a lot. And um, it helps my video to be seen by more people. So um, here we go. Let's do a thrift haul. Woo! I got some cute stuff, y'all. Hang on. Okay, so let's start with this. I'll just start on one end of the counter and make my way over. This is just a, an arrangement. These are foam lemons, but I like the little pot. It's nice. And then it's got the little silk leaves. It was kind of dirty when I got it. So what I did is I ran it through just some warm water. I just spritzed it with warm water and then I let it kind of drip out. So it's nice and clean now. And won't that be pretty for summer decorating? I love to do a lemon kitchen. In fact, I would do a lemon kitchen all year long if I could, but I thought that was adorable. So that's my first thing. And then I picked up these gorgeous silk flowers. And won't those be pretty for spring and for summer? So pretty. There's three of them. And I also got this. Now, this had a longer stem on it. I cut it off already because I didn't want it. Uh, this was, got, it has a price tag of $21.99 on it. And I think I paid $3.99 for it. So um, look how pretty, pink hydrangea. So I will definitely do something with that for spring. That is such a pretty color for Easter though, isn't it? Oh, I love that. And then all my bunny fans out there. Now I've washed these things and I, I have this thing about taking tags off. So I don't know how much I paid for any of these, but they all came from Goodwill. So, you know, I paid three, $4 for most of these things. But this is a little bunny pitcher. Look, so we can, there's a the little opening and then the water can come out a little bunny's mouth and it's in perfect shape. It's 
so pretty. Won't that be cute for spring? I just love that little guy. He's so cute. So I got that. Then I found, cause I, you know, I'm, I'm looking for spring and summer here. I found a lemon teapot. So I am on the search for more lemon stuff. And I thought that was so cute. Adorable. And it looks brand new. But I love these little blossoms on it, the little lemon blossoms on it. So sweet. So that'll be cute in the lemon kitchen. And then I saw this, and I, I had looked at this a couple of times, and I found a red one, and I put my little topiary tree in it. And I thought, you know what? That really looks cute. So I think the white one, I can use it all spring, all summer with my little topiary tree, which right now is living on my kitchen table. But it's just a little metal container from Ikea. Very sweet. The next thing that I got, because I, you know, I have in mind what I'm gonna, my upcoming decorating, I got this yellow colander. It's enameled. I thought it was really pretty. And I want to put lemons in this. Now, I don't know if I'm going to put real lemons in it. <laughs> I'll probably get some faux lemons and put in this. And I think that would be so cute in the kitchen. And, of course, it, it's useful because I could actually use it as a colander. It's nice. It's heavy. It's metal. So I really like that. And then... This was kind of an odd thing that I picked up, but I saw these little mice and I just had to get them. And they remind me of Topo Gijo. Now, if you're not a child of the 60s and you didn't watch Ed Sullivan's show, you don't know who Topo Gijo is. But <laughs> And I think I'm the only person in the world that does because my husband is six years older than me and he doesn't remember Topo Gijo. He was a little mouse puppet and he used to talk to Ed Sullivan and he did funny things. He had a funny little voice. He was from France, I think. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to put in a picture of Topo Gijo so you guys can see him. But these mice are just too stinking cute not to be in my house. <laughs> I'm not sure where they're gonna go, and I don't know if, what season they'll go with, but I think they can go for any season, don't you think? <laughs> maybe around, well, maybe around some of my plants. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I love these things. Topo Gijo, y'all, you gotta know who he is. And then I saw this, and this is uh, Gottinger and Company. And I know that that is a very nice brand. But look at the pears. Won't that be pretty with a spring or summer arrangement in it? And it's sort of a cream color, which I like, instead of just a stark white. But it's just beautiful has nothing wrong with it. So pretty. It's got a little weight to it, but I thought, ooh, that's gorgeous. And then when I looked and saw that it was a really nice brand, I was like, mm, that's coming home with me. So the next thing that I got were these linen placemats and I got six of them and I washed them and maybe I shouldn't have done that, but I'm sorry, I've just got to wash them. So I think I have ironed them and they still look wrinkly. So if you any, have any tips for getting the wrinkles out of washed linen, let me know. I was Googling it and it said you could wash it and dry it and it might shrink some, 
Um, but I want to get the wrinkles out of it. I want them to be very, very wrinkle free. So I, I think I'm going to have to go buy some spray starch and try ironing them one more time. But they're very pretty. See the detail on them? They're so pretty. And there are one, two, three, you. I think there are eight of them. I got eight of them. So those are nice once I get all the wrinkles out of them. And then I found some really cute things for spring and summer. I found this table runner. And you guys check this out. It's gorgeous. Look at that. Of course it needs washing. Haven't washed this one yet. And it needs ironing. But it is beautiful. Won't that be pretty? So pretty on the table. Of course, you could put this out and use it all the time. You know, it'd be pretty in a bedroom. But I love that. I was looking for something springy for a table runner. And then, <laughs> I found this tea towel. And I think I paid, oh gosh, about, I think about a doll, less than two dollars for this. And um, it's got the cutest little bunny on it. So, not only would it match a lemon kitchen, but uh, when I have my bunnies out for Easter, that would be so cute. And then the last thing, here we go, the last thing, <laughs> is another tea towel. And it even had the tags on it. It has never been used, um, but it's a really big one. I mean, I could even use that at a, as a runner on my kitchen table because it's so long. But isn't that beautiful? Brand new, never been used. <laughs> so that is my haul from Goodwill, and I hope you enjoyed that. And um, I hope that you have some happy hunting while you go out thrifting. Let me know if you find anything really amazing. And I will be back again for some more thrifts, you guys. Take care, and I send you big hugs as always. Bye-bye, y'all.